welcome to my youtube channel kadam academy friends today's lecture on the mathematical modeling of vibration vibratory system friends here friends various vibratory systems are there you can see it in this figure is cycling or cycles or motor bikes or various machinery these are the vibratory systems which are used in real life in real life various applications are there for using and that is the main purpose of the vibration subject so we'll go in next slide what is the purpose of this learning outcome of this lecture mathematical modeling of vibratory system after completion of this you are going to student are able to understand or learn they understand the introduction to physical and mathematical modeling what are these physical modeling what are the different types of the mathematical modeling in general and learn an analysis of the vibration vibration problems various steps to find the and of the replacement of physical system into mathematical model modeling so the physical system is there what is the you will learn and after that the convert into mathematical modeling and this learn the mathematical modeling of vibrating system in generalized we will learn and analyze the case study of mathematical model of hammer press this case study is important here and the last one more case study for the high speed tramp follower system so friends up to the end of this video watch it how they are physical systems of this hammer press and high speed cam follower and we converted into mathematical model very simple language it is explained dosto to aap abhi tak apne subscribe nahi kiya to subscribe kijiye in this slide introducing the physical and mathematical modeling you must learn what are the physical model and the mathematical model mathematical modeling from physical model of vibratory system we are studying here so in real life most structures and machine systems have elastic members with the dynamic uh, system hence have an infinite degree of freedom already we studied in degree of freedom video you can watch what are different type of degree of freedoms for such vibrating system physical system the dynamic system for which the variables are there that is the excitation and responses and which are time based these are time based responses and excitations are there in each vibration vibratory systems okay so <clears throat> response of vibratory system mainly depend on what their initial conditions and the external excitations so these vibration vibratory systems are very complicated and hence they are difficult to analyze and to solve problem solving of such vibratory system i need to do analysis very properly for that reason physical system is converted by drawing mathematical model okay so in engineering problems or various uh, machines or the various uh, whatever the machinery we are using they are having infinite degree of freedom so that uh, problems may be uh, we can say when there is a infinite degree of freedom that will be the continuous system or we can distribute the system with the complicated differential equation and we have to replace that complicated equations into simple solutions with the solutions simple equations with solution so these differential equation become accurate and we can solve and analyze that the continuous system which is difficult to analyze and hence they are generally analyzed by converting them into discrete or lump parameter system lump parameter system so this procedure of modeling is same for all engineering fields okay so what the details of modeling varies with the field whatever the field is there according to that the modeling will be different so we'll study in different video the different modeling system okay 
what is the lump parameter system we'll see now oh, in this lump parameter helpful by considering or converting them into uh, we concentrating them into individual property of vibratory system in the individual property of vibratory system to replace this physical system by mathematical model uh, different four steps are there okay so these four steps i will show you one by one the following procedure first step is what conceptualization of the physical problem into mathematical model we'll go in detail in this one second is the derivation of the governing equation of differential equation of motion so this deri- we have to derive the governing equation for this mathematical model and this mathematical model were uh, formed or drawn by using this physical problem or physical system okay the physical model were converted to mathematical model and we have derived this governing equation or differential equation for this mathematical model and now what after the is got the equation we solve the governing equation for a specific what are the conditions are given boundary condition or the what are the external forces are there by using the various methods okay and lastly interpretation of that solution obtained in a say, three and its application in design that is the four steps we study one by one the steps of this vibration analysis analysis of the vibration problem usually involves following steps first is the conceptualization of the physical uh, problem into mathematical model that is the physical model going to convert into mathematical model and here what will happen in the in this step this is a very basic step okay so while converting the physical system mathematical system its main purpose is to represent all the important features all the important features of the system for deriving the mathematical equations uh, the behavior of the system without making the complicated the mathematical equation of governing equation will get it by considering the all the its features mathematical model may be linear or non linear here decision to be take whether the structure should be treated as a continuous that means the multi degree or infinite degree or some standard degree number of degrees and with the advantage of considering the lump parameter system means what the all the features were to consider of that system with the degree of freedom we have to finalize and we will have the location of the lump masses also the excitation causing it must be given what are the excitations what are the responses how is the response due to this excitation causing and that mathematically feasible form that we have to just decide it so what will happen then that by using the fourier analysis also we can solve the this conceptualization physical problems so here this mathematical model may be linear or the non linearity with the equation that depends on the behavior of the components of the system means what are the, the different parameters we are considering for that mathematical model that is considered okay so next step is what deriving the governing equation Uh, derivation of the governing equation or in the form of differential equation this could be done by first principles of dynamics is based on the this first principle of dynamics to derive the equations that describe the vibration systems the both the equilibrium method and energy methods can be employed for this one to so resolving the forces coupled uh, by drawing mbd means free body diagram of masses is considered and equation of motion is derived by considering the all the mass inertia forces reactive forces or the external forces etc the choice depend upon the convenience of the resulting the analysis whatever the uh, forces and masses are given that will be 
that system may be linear or non-linear, that may be discrete system or the continuous system, and according to that system, we have to just derive the equation of motion. That equation, suppose the discrete system, that equation becomes the ordinary differential equation, or suppose in continuous system, that equation becomes the partial differential equation. Under this uh, deriving this governing equation of motion uh, approach, various approach we can use. We can use the energy method or the this FBD uh, energy method or the FBD or the equilibrium method we can utilize. Next step will be the solving the governing equation of specific boundary condition and external forces. This what is in this third step uh, that will be uh, whatever the uh, surrounding problems while solving this problem solving in a vibration system with the high degree of freedom and complexity is there in the system support to so solve uh, it by uh, governing equation by using the uh, various uh, techniques are there uh, that Laplace transformation matrix method or numerical method like this the various considering this uh, initial condition we can uh, of that uh, utilizing these uh, various techniques we can solve that governing equation but some complicated equation computer programs are also used uh, for the calculation purpose it is not possible and difficult to conclude the behavior of the system by using the uh, that will be easier by using this computer programming okay so response of the physical system is obtained by solving the that equation that is in step two so it may be necessary sometimes to use the transforms uh, like a laplace transform to solve the equation or the multi-degree system uh, uh, harmonic uh, solution for the each uh, mass may be assumed to uh, natural frequency determined by the matrix method also friends last step is the interpretation of the mathematical uh, this uh, equation or results what are after uh, getting the solutions these results or solutions obtained in step three and its application in design and as a vibration as a applied science results obtained after the solving the mathematical model equation of motion the solution of the governing equation gives the uh, suppose the displacement the amplitude, we can say the amplitude, and after we can calculate the velocity. But similarly, we can calculate the acceleration, time period, uh, frequency, the natural frequency, different masses of the system can be uh, found. And the analysis of vibratory, vibratory system can be done by using the above results. So, friend, like this, we can solve the mathematical modeling equations. This mathematical vibrating system, before considering, already I have shown that lump parameters. So, what is the lump parameter? Most of the structural and machine systems have the elastic members, okay. Hence, the finite degree of freedom of such system are referred to as continuous system or distributed system. And analysis of this system requires the complicated differential equations. So, what will happen? This solution of this differential equation of complicated equations would be give the accurate results. So, however, the continuous systems are difficult to analyze, and hence they generally analyze by converting them into discrete or lump parameters. In simple language, dosto, I aapko batata hu. This continuous system means what the infinite degree of freedom. Okay. For this purpose, this suppose the this is the one of this part of that system. Okay. This part is converted into simple the discrete lump parameter. We can say the discrete system. This continuous system is having the multiple degree, but here only one degree of freedom. That is conversion of this mathematical model. While converting this one, the is the it is useful. This step is very important. As the name suggests, the lump parameter system. Concentrate the individual property of the vibratory system means the uh, last that uh, shown you this uh, uh, this is the um, one uh, rod okay it is converted into spring mass system okay that uh, this delta is the displacement 
to it is converted how d is uh, can say here here this uh, lumping property of mass would be considered that complete mass concentrated at the center of gravity and on similar lines the property of elasticity can be considered by lumping the elastic responses so what what is what we have done here we have this converted this system into simple uh, this procedure to of vibratory system replaced by the physical system and mathematical model so by converting this uh, uh, container system into discrete system that's where con converted the, the physical system into mathematical model for the getting the solution so like uh, in this that rod is considered with the property of elasticity with stiffness k and the mass of this lump property of the elasticity using this method any practical system can be broken into various elements thereby reducing the complexity of differential equation and carefully development of the mathematical model would give the reasonable accurate solution and here see this container system uh, if we write one equation for this system so that equation may be difficult to solve but for this system it is very simple differential equation will got it most of the elementary kind of the container system would be an elastic rod that is the shown in this figure a okay this figure a this bar can now be converted into lump parameter system by convert by concentrating the mass this mass concentrated here at the center of this bar an axially loaded bar the axial deflection of the self weight would be given so this uh, k that will show it's a self weight okay and this system is converted like this 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 distributed one the lump parameter system so this del how can calculate for this entire system elastic rod with the cross sectional area a modulus of elasticity e and its mass is m and how to find out the this deflection del by using this formula mgl by ae that means the w into length of this uh, elastic rod in diameter a how to find this k k we can find out w by del that means a by l here w w get cancel and a by l is the meaning this cross sectional area modulus of elasticity length of bar and that equation we can derive by all this lump parameter okay so friends now so friends in this ppt we are going to study the mathematical model of hammer press the concept of converting container system into discrete or lump parameter was discussed briefly in last slides using the mathematical model any practical system can be broken into various elements thereby reducing the complexity of that the differential equation okay. carefully develop mathematical model would give reasonably accurate solution if the mathematical model is carefully developed then solution will be accurate starting solution is generally done by considering a simplified mathematical model and then more accurate answer will be developed by refining the model so some examples will see so one example is the mathematical model of hammer press under this it will show the diagram here many times what will happen the starting solution of done consider the simplified mathematical model so that accurate solution will be developed by referring this model of this uh, hammer press okay so this is a physical system this is a physical system it is called physical system here in this one the uh, model uh, the having the hammer here in top and it is moving in this direction on this die so this is the die this top portion of the die under this die there is the anvil okay 
this is a press so it will press and the job is placed on this die so it will take the shape of the die what are the design die design die under this die uh, anvil is there under the anvil rubber pads are placed to shock absorbing to absorb the shocks and below this the foundation block is prepared and this is the soil of the ground level so this type of the physical system this is nothing but the physical system actual machine is the vibratory system and that converted into physical system for the understanding purpose so friend here that is here converted into mathematical model hammer and this die and anvil its weight is there it a stationary part so it is considered as a mass with a mass okay it is represented by this block and this uh, rubber stiffness this rubber stiffness is considered as the spring rubber stiffness considered as a spring and rubber also considered as a damping also both the are considered in this case okay, so it is represented as a spring and damper and the foundation block and below this uh, ground is also considered as a spring and this soil as a damping soil as a stiffness soil as a damping in this case what will happen mad this model this model is simplified just by uh, neglecting the uh, rubber and pad of the damping is simplified by neglecting the rubber pad of the damping neglecting uh, neglected it in that the anvil and the die can be treated as a one mass okay so what we have done this anvil and die we consider as a one mass and this uh, typical uh, diagram is converted into very simplified okay this model is simplified by neglecting the stiffness and uh, is uh, neglecting the rubber pads stiffness and the damping so this is consideration of this uh, rubber uh, stiffer damping is shown in the figure and it is maybe 2 degree of freedom we have shown the displacement at the both the place but this foundation block is not moving but that may be possibility of some displacement may be occur but it is not moving okay this moving part is not a anvil and die also only moving part is the hammer but that excitation will be there and that we have to find out what are the vibrations okay that amplitude may be occur with the vibrations that we have to find out by converting that system into this lump parameter system so this is a very simple example one more example we will see the mathematical model of high speed camp follower system okay that physical system i will show you this is the physical system of the camp follower system and it is a very high speed here is the camp okay this is the camp shaft in center and this is the total camp okay and here is a follower and the follower moves in upward direction linear motion this push rod will push to the this rocker arm this rocker arm, uh, rocker arm is returned with the spring and this is wall of the steel so total this uh, physical system diagram of the camp follower okay and it is a typical high speed follower system consists of the camp sharp camp push rod rocker arm on the wall wall system wall stem this is the converting this mathematical model of this camp follower system what what here done is c1 c2 c3 c4 c5 these are Nothing but the dashboard. It considered as the dashboards represent the friction. What friction means? Here is the one friction, and another friction inside this one. And whatever the frictions will be there, that are the converted. So I will tell you the what are the frictions. Are, I will tell you one by one. So which analyze the sliding friction or combination of both. is the rolling friction and the sliding friction that both may be or viscous or sliding friction or combination of both must be considered that simplified the ignoring the effect of friction okay. 
dear friend the mass m1 m2 the mass m1 mass m1 and m2 are nothing but the mass of the follower train okay. and mass m3 is uh, considered by the mass of cam and torsion of the cam shaft is cam m the cam shaft that we have to consider as a mass m3 here m3 and the spring k1 the spring k k1 here this k1 is the thickness uh, of follower retaining spring okay thickness of follower retaining this retaining stiffness of this follower okay the k2 k3 become the thickness of follower train thickness of follower train total thickness of follower train is k1 already we have written k1 k2 k3 k4 is remaining k4 here is the k4 the bending stiffness of cam shaft bending stiffness of cam shaft here we have to consider the k4 so here dashpot p1 is the internal friction in follower retaining spring internal friction in the follower retaining spring here p1 from this c1 c2 c3 like this we are considering here the c2 and c3 are the internal friction of follower train internal friction of the follower train and after this c4 is the sliding friction at the contact of the what the cam and cam follower of the contact of the uh, cam and cam follower the internal friction of the follower train and after that cam and cam follower friction and the c5 internal friction of crankshaft the internal friction of the crankshaft so like this the we have to consider and this uh, x1 and x2 are nothing but the displacements of the follower displacement so these are the some representation shown to you and the system can be considered simplified the governing equation uh, forming the just solving this mathematical model and we are getting the governing equation for the system and again we are converting this total system simplifying the system the further simplification of that last diagram of the high speed cam into like this one okay this external springs are considered like a ks the external load they are applied the mass follower the follower lift okay the further simplification can be achieved by considering the follower system with the external spring of stiffness ks means this last figure is follower system this will be considered as a with the spring stiffness here ks okay and is shown in this figure and the simplified system would give the fairly accurate solution as like a slow speed cam follower system so the designer on the basis of the applications and working condition need to decide on the complexity of the model in detail solution how to get it you are not uh, learning in this video so friends this is the simplified cam follower system are converted from the physical to the mathematical simplified model okay so friend here is the learning of this uh, what you learn from this video write down the at least three points significant learnings we are done and friend last day i want to give you always you learn by self assessment only if you are not subscribe my channel please subscribe it thank you very much